we are living on an event that can change how we perceive the normal. Change is an inevitable part of life, and many aspects of the altering world are outside of our control. Yet, as human beings, we crave security. We want to feel safe and have a sense of control over our lives and well-being. Uncertainty is all around us, never more so than today. Fear and uncertainty leads to stress, anxiety, feeling powerless, things differ, it's not the same. It drains you emotionally and traps you in a downward spiral of endless what-ifs and worst-case scenarios about what tomorrow may bring. This isolation enabled people to understand what spirituality means for them, while others are still striving to find their way towards something meaningful. People find their spirituality in unique ways, such as art, nature, dancing, music, and so much more that you could imagine. Others pray and find solace in a religious manner such as having a personal connection with God and other godly beings. These can evolve and grow throughout your life as a result of your experiences and relationships. It's all up to you where you find your sense of purpose in life. We all have busy lives. And by busy, doesn't mean to say loads of work. You wake up, take a shower, you brush your teeth, do your thing, you get tired of the endless loop, and somehow feels like you've been stuck into the unknown. And you become confused, somewhat disoriented about things. You have these questions lurking at the back of your mind, but you just can't seem to answer. Do I deserve this? What is the meaning of all our suffering? What is my role in this world? Do things really happen for a reason? How can I live my life in the best way possible? These complex questions about their existence in ourselves have a strong influence for some to understand what spirituality truly means to them. The importance of social connections cannot be underestimated or ignored if you want to grow and develop spiritually. It's what shapes us in all aspects possible. God works through people to make great things happen. While you can certainly grow your spirituality on your own, joining together with people who hold a deep faith in their beliefs can enhance your devotion. Growing spiritually transforms every part of who you are. Faith is not something that can grow in a vacuum. It thrives when rooted in a community with accountability, encouragement, and wisdom shared among other believers both near and far. Are you catastrophizing, fortune-telling, or defining things in black and white terms? Rather than assuming that your negative thoughts are true, examine the actual evidence for it. Be realistic with your thoughts and attitude. You see a single negative event as a never-ending pattern of a defeat by using words such as always or never when you think about it. Tend to dwell on the negative effect of an event exclusively so that your vision of all reality becomes dark, like a drop of ink that discolors a beaker of water. You reject positive experiences by insisting they do not count. Discounting the positive takes the joy out of life and makes you inadequate and unrewarded. You assume that your thoughts necessarily reflect the way things really are. 
you need to start focusing on the moral aspect of your lives and know that moral fiber is essential for our personal well-being and for our relationships with our fellow people. Expressing gratitude is something we need to do more often because there is nothing more powerful than realizing what we have in our lives like the love of our family and friends, shelter, food, and so much more. Gratitude provides a lift to our spirits and appreciation to a God that cares and provides for us. We may not know when or how this pandemic will end, but we will always know that God is there for us every step of the way.